Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look at a product that I've been wanting to make a video for. Uh, this is the Udox X 16.6 inches Pro from Uperfect. It's considered a device that can make your smartphone turn into a laptop. And it's very cool, and I'm gonna show you guys in the video how it works. But first of all, it's gonna show you guys uh, what's in the box. This is how you get it when you get it through the box, through the mail, of course. I already used it, and just like always, I like to put it back in the box. That way you have an idea what to expect when you get it through the mail, okay? So, here's the instruction manual, right here. Put that to the side. Here is the device itself. I'm gonna take it out. Of course, like I said, I already used it and put it back in the box. Put that to the side and this is it this looks like a laptop because it's meant to look like a laptop or be and behave like a laptop so there you go v made of aluminium very cool put this to the side and here it comes with this cable which is uh usb-c to usb-c it comes with hdmi to mini hdmi it comes with USB-C to USB-A. I believe this is the one that you use for charging. And it comes with another USB-C to USB-C. Cool, it comes with a lot of cables, that's awesome. And of course it comes with the charging. It's not that powerful, but hey, it does the job. So let's go ahead here and show you guys the ports before we change the camera view here. So we got USB-C, which is used for power. They got USB-C 3.1, which is used for um, audio and video. This is where you're going to connect your smartphone or any devices like a Nintendo Switch or something like that. Mini HDMI, this is where you're going to connect your consoles or any audio uh, video device here to this device. And over here on the other side, you got 3.5 millimeter jack for audio or headphone jack. You got USB-A and you got a micro SD slot right there. That's awesome that it has a micro SD slot right there. And of course you got the power button right there. Over here in the bottom, you got nothing. And when you open it up, voila, look at that. Very nice looking keyboard. And the touchpad is actually over here. The keyboard is very nice and clicky. I love how it feels. It also, it feels kind of similar to a MacBook. If you use keyboards for MacBooks, it feels kind of similar to that. Over here, it has a charging wireless sound. So right here, you would place your phone right there and it will actually charge your smartphone. And over here, of course, you got speaker grills right there. So it has two speakers right there. And I believe it's actually two watts. Okay, so now let's go and show you guys how this works. Let's go and turn it on. Over here, we press the power button for like four seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five seconds and it's gonna turn on right there now keep in mind this screen is actually like i said before is 15.6 inches ips screen um 120 hertz 1920 by 1080p uh, i believe the brightness it goes all the way up to 250 nits which i don't think is that much but it doesn't really look that bad when you're playing um inside of your home 100 percent srgb and that's it keep in mind this is not a computer in the inside it does not have a cpu or anything like that this is just a screen with a keyboard and a touchpad okay that's all it is now one thing you need to keep in mind is that over here on the side uh, on the screen when you load it up this is how it looks because there's nothing connected to it but it is actually telling you what to do here if you're connecting it to a bluetooth to an android device to an iphone device or wired connection so you have like a little explanation there right there um also right here this is the identification of the car of the screen itself so when you're wireless uh, streaming something to this screen uh you would actually look for a flipbook 09 d1d um, and one thing to also keep in mind when you're gonna before you start using it make sure you actually go to Bluetooth devices and make sure you when you scan for like new devices when you're gonna hook up like a headphones or something like that make sure you scan and you're gonna find these two touchscreen and keyboard as a Bluetooth make sure you actually see this how it's gonna look touch uh, touch and FB keyboard uh, once you do that 
that's it that's all you need to do when it comes to setting making sure this works with that that's it that way the keyboard the touchscreen and everything works with the device that you're connecting here so that's one thing to keep in mind another thing that's showing you over here is that when you slide here that's something i was looking because i couldn't find anywhere but you actually have to slide touch right there in that section and from here you will actually see uh, some of the settings on screen settings for for this so when you slide like that that's how you activate it so you got the volume you got the brightness here uh, you got the contrast and extra brightness as well you got the ports you can switch to uh, the charging section if you want to turn this charging section off you could turn it off right there um, auto lock this screen does not rotate that's one negative thing i would have to say about this screen that i did try to use it like in tent mode like i've seen in some pictures and it really doesn't rotate so technically you can't use it in tent mode because the screen does not rotate like you see here on the video i'm trying to actually play um, call of duty on the xbox series s and when i rotate the screen it just doesn't rotate and i did reach out to them to ask if that feature works here or not and they actually told me that it doesn't work here because it, it doesn't have that sensor in it so yeah uh, keep that in mind also when you tap over here it will take you to a srgb a warm cool you could change the warm cool colors and all that and basically that's it that's the only thing you can actually do when it comes to settings on here if you want to see the battery status of this because this actually has 10,000 800 milliamp hour battery so that means you can go around four to six hours of battery on this device on battery alone that's that is very very good uh but to check the battery uh the you would have to press function and uh f2 press function and f2 and right there you'll see the battery percentage right there 89 percent so it doesn't matter if you have like a console connected to it or a nintendo switch you will see it right there and of course one thing to keep in mind it does have backlit keyboard so if you want to use a backlit keyboard all you got to do is press function and i believe it's f9 and you can turn on the backlit keyboard right there look at that so that's cool that it actually has that as well that's very cool everything else you got the brightness you got the volume you could control from here uh, multi windows you got the windows key over here you know everything that you see here is basically what you see on a normal laptop if you want to deactivate this that way it's not touching the uh, when you're accidentally playing you're not touching this you can press right here and this and it will actually deactivate the touchpad or but make sure you actually do activate it back again because sometimes i do forget that i turned it off and sometimes i find myself wait i want to use this but it doesn't work so yeah keep that in mind other than that the keyboard does work really really dang good it feels really good when you type it on it as well now let's go and show you guys how it works so if you're using a samsung you got samsung decks right so samsung decks can work in two ways you can either do it wired or you can do it wirelessly so let's go and show you guys how it works wired so you guys can see that it connects really fast Get it here, USB-C cable, and over here, we could go ahead and connect the USB-C cable over here. Um, and voila, I have, have this set up, so that way when you connect something to it, it automatically uh, reloads or loads Samsung DeX. And that's freaking awesome because on this, you can actually be working on here, like watching your Instagram or making phone calls over here while you're still, you're turning this into a desktop over here so if you use the uh, samsung dex before um this you know what to expect this is like a laptop but with um a samsung os instead of window windows 10 or chromebook so it's basically like that uh, you see you have the touchpad functionality here you got the these keys are available as well so it has all the functions that you need you got multi windows so if you're working on different projects or different items you could do the, do that as well uh, you could play video games here using your the games that you have installed right here by you know launching the gaming hub and so on so on uh, you also have access to everything the browsers your gallery so if you want to access uh, watch videos here from your gallery you could just watch videos here from your gallery and while you're still using your smartphone doing other stuff as well so that's something really cool 
of course you can also you know do some notes and all that you can change the wallpapers as well so everything that you could do on on a normal samsung dex you could do it here which is awesome because you're basically turning your smartphone into a damn computer but yes you can actually do wireless so right here right you go to samsung dex you got samsung dex right here and, and right away you're gonna see that says start samsung dex on flipbook q19 which is obviously that same name you're gonna see over here when you press start now let's see how it, how fast it switches bump bump it's connecting did it connect yeah, it's connecting. You can also see other wireless devices available like a Roku TV, like a Hisense TV and all that. And there you go. It's connected wirelessly here. And you can do the same thing you could do as wired as well. One thing that I noticed is that what you're doing wirelessly, um, the, there could be a, like a little bit delay when it comes to the touchpad. Obviously, that's going to be a thing because you're doing it wirelessly. But everything else just works functions uh normally like it should and the cool thing is you can actually put your phone right there boom and it will start charging your smartphone uh here you can actually see the battery life of the phone right because this is connected to the laptop or to the lap dock but if you press here like i said fn and fs2 f2 you can see the battery life of this thing as well so that's something that you should always know because you're going to want to know the status of this when you're actually using it. So that's something really awesome. Now, of course, if you want to disconnect, you can either disconnect it from here, right? You have the option to disconnect, exit here. And voila, once you disconnect here, it just, that's it. It disconnects automatically. And you could start using that for something else, which I'm going to show you guys how it works with the Nintendo Switch. Now, of course, if you're in the mood of playing video games on your laptop, yes, you can do that. You could just go ahead and plug in your device right there, USB-C to USB-C over here on the Nintendo Switch. If you're like me that carry around with the Nintendo Switch everywhere, you go like that. Bump, bump. And you can see it connects. It connects pretty fast because remember this is USB-C 3.1 and it's just gonna load the screen right away and while you're actually playing here is also charging your Nintendo Switch as well so your Nintendo Switch is not gonna run out of battery life so that's something to keep that in mind and of course you could go ahead just like me I'm doing right here and go ahead and start playing look at that and of course it has speakers so if you want to lower down the speakers or up the speakers go click right here okay you go ahead all the way down let's go ahead and put it to the max here as well um also same thing with the brightness of the screen let me see your brightness you want to lower down brightness you can lower down the brightness here as well or you could go ahead all the way up all the way up there you go and look at that and the screen looks great since this is the nintendo switch it doesn't really require that much power when it comes to the nintendo switch uh, it's just gonna look good that's something that's gonna look good and it sounds good and of course if you don't want to use the speakers you can always use a headphone so you can just like, plug in your headphones over there and that's it so yeah here like you see i'm playing right here very awesome and this is lego horizon which is i'm loving it there you go. very awesome like you see here on the video i do connect my xbox series s yeah i'm also using it uh, with the screen flipped around which is very cool because you could put the keyboard behind the screen and play it like that and and you could control the angle of the screen which is very very convenient everything performs really nice and smooth here while playing video games like you see i'm playing call of duty on um, black ops 6 and everything looks really good i like the way it looks it feels smooth the colors feels good and of course since it has speakers i also can listen without headphones but if i want to use a headphones i just plug it in to the headphone jack and that's it so that's something really cool that you could do with this screen but of course just like i said before i did try the tent mode 
and it didn't work for me because it doesn't have the gravity sensor or something like that. This is a very cool screen. It's very awesome that you can play video games uh, on the Nintendo Switch here on this screen, which is a 15.6 inches, big enough to actually enjoy like, you know, enjoy a console style gaming here. That's very cool. And the fact that you can, uh, while I'm playing video games there on my Nintendo Switch, I could go ahead over here and plug my, my, put my cell phone right there and play video games here. And of course, if you're done playing, all you gotta do is unplug it. Yep, Nintendo Switch goes back to its screen over here. And that goes back to that screen. You can take out the phone, stop charging. And of course, to turn it off, uh, all you gotta do is press the power button over here for four seconds. It turns off and you're done. You could go ahead and put this in a, in a laptop sleeve or you could just put it in your backpack that you use for uh, laptops. And that's it. You have a screen that works as a laptop for your smartphone and it also works as a screen. Oops. <laughs> It works as a screen for your Nintendo Switch, Xbox console, PlayStation 5 console, or even the Steam Deck. Yeah, that's so damn cool. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll leave links in my description for this device. If you have any comments or any questions, please leave it below as well. And of course, you'll find a discount code for this. This goes for around, as I'm making this video, it's around $400, I think, a little bit more maybe. But there's discount codes where you can get it a lot more cheaper, and it also helps my channel, so guys. So thanks for watching this video. This was a look at the U-Perfect U-Dock X 16.6 inches Pro Edition, which I also believe there's a smaller one. So if you want to get a smaller version of this, I think they do have a 14 inch uh, there as well. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you think about this screen. Till next time. Bye-bye.